Here's why you should be using bootstrapping instead of traditional statistics. Many of the traditional techniques and statistical formulas you might learn from in high school or college statistics courses were created in a world that just didn't have the tools we have today. For example, companies use t-tests all the time when running experiments to compare two groups. These t-tests date back to 1908. With modern computing power, we don't have to rely on the same assumptions that made these techniques possible. Bootstrapping is a statistical technique that applies sampling with replacement to simulate a distribution based on a smaller subset of collected data. Let's consider an example to make this more concrete. Let's say you work for a ride-sharing app like Uber or Lyft, and you want to understand all the possible times and locations that a ride might come from. Then, from all of those possibilities, you want to know what the typical day of a driver might look like. For this particular analysis, let's say you want to know what's the longest distance and time a driver should expect during their shift. This scenario is a great example of where bootstrapping your data provides an excellent grasp of what is possible. To describe what is expected, you need a statistical distribution. Using traditional techniques, you would have to assume that it's normal, or gamma, or log normal, and then you would use this distribution to draw conclusions. What if the true distribution is bimodal? What traditional statistical distribution can be used for this? Likely, you would need to use the combination of two distributions, with some probability associated with being from one or the other. Alternatively, we could use bootstrapping, which allows us to not assume any formal distribution at all. Bootstrapping allows us to simulate from the original data set directly. We don't have to find a mathematical function that would represent the data first. One last thought on bootstrapping and statistics. I think it really helps build a great way of understanding how to think about the world. In a lot of traditional techniques, the thinking is already done for you, and you just plug the numbers into the existing formula without much thought. Solving problems using bootstrapping techniques teaches you to think about your problems in a way that lends itself to lots of different types of problems. By understanding bootstrapping as a way to solve problems, you have a really good framework for how to think about how to quantify the randomness in the world and further use this quantity to make educated decisions.